I was just at the Apple store and they don't have the new MacBooks yet. However, Geekbench scores are already out. Who has these machines? Somebody better than me. I'm getting mine next week, so make sure you tune in for my tests. But look at this. We'll start with the measly M3, which is the lowest of the range. There's M3, M3 Pro, and M3 Max. We'll get to that one. And M3 scores 3,162 in a single core score. 12,015 in the multi-core score. By the way, these are the highest I was able to find, and there's thousands of pages that you can scroll through. It's not fun. It's not fun to do at all, but you know. Somebody had to do it. it wasn't me, because I wrote a script. <laughs> so if we compare that to the top of the line M3 Max with 128 gigs of RAM, not that it matters because this is a CPU benchmark, but this one has one processor, the M3 Max with 16 cores, 3159 for single core, about the same as the M3. Guess what? They have the same cores. It's just that the M3 Max has more of them. So while the M3 has only eight cores right here, the M3 Max has 16 of them. So twice the cores and almost, not quite almost, but a substantially higher multi-core score of 21,593. By the way, these are actually real results that somebody ran. I'll link to these directly down below in the description, right below the like button. Now, if we compare that M3 Max score to the previous M2 Max, which is actually the machine that I'm on right now, it's my daily driver. It makes me a little sad that I just bought this a couple of months ago and it had a score of 2736 for single core and 14,497 for multi-core. So I'm expecting to get a nice little boost when I upgrade my machine next week. You might be also wondering about the M2 Ultra. We don't have the M3 Ultra yet, not been announced yet, but we can imagine it's gonna be, uh, it's gonna be a, another beast, right? Because the M2 Ultra, look at these, single core score is actually lower than the M3 base model score. Again, M2 core versus M3 core. The M3 core is faster, but the multi-core score of the M3 Max is actually higher than the M2 Ultra. Even though this M2 Ultra here has 24 cores and the M3 Max has 16. Wow, here's a score you might have seen on some other blogs. This one was publicized, so it got a few more views, but it is a lower score than the one I found. Click on that link and give them some more views. Tell them I sent you. So when you're comparing charts, it doesn't look like a huge bump here, but the Geekbench scores are showing quite a bit of a bump and I can't wait to test these things out on some compilation tests. So if you wanna see those, make sure you subscribe. I ordered three machines that are coming next week, the M3, the M3 Pro, and the M3 Max machines. Anyway, I just wanted to keep this short and give you a preview of what's coming next week. I'm excited. If you haven't seen my review of the Apple event that just happened this week and the chips that were announced and the products that were announced, watch this video right over here and I'll see you next week.